Welcome to this week's episode of DPR Friday. I'm Thais Carter, Director of Content for Advanced Star Dental Media. We're excited to invite Dr. John Flukey, Technology Editor for DPR, back into the studio. Thanks, Thais. It's always nice to be part of DPR Friday. I love doing these videos. It's always kind of the highlight of my week to get a chance to sit down and, and talk to people about products that I really love. That's very nice of you to say, John. What do you have to talk with us about today? Well, this week, what I want to talk about is the Midwest Stylus ATC handpiece. And it's, it's put some new bells and whistles into the whole idea of an air-driven handpiece. Normally in dentistry, when we think of buying a handpiece, we think of this. We order a handpiece, it comes in a box, we take it out of the box, we connect it, we put the burr in it, and away we go. Now the Midwest Stylus ATC comes at this from a little bit different angle. When you buy it, you not only buy a handpiece, in fact, the kit comes with two hand pieces. When you buy it, you actually buy this entire box, this entire kit. And the reason for that is there is a system built into this that gives the whole product more torque and more control. One of the things you don't see, once this system is installed in your operatory, all you see is you know, the hand piece and the airline it attaches to. But what you don't see is there are some electronics that come with it. There's a controller box that mounts inside the dental unit. And as you can see, this controller box has cables and such that attach to things that you don't see. What this whole thing does, as the handpiece is turning, as the handpiece uh, has the burr and the burr is making contact you know, with tooth structure or with filling or prosthetics or whatever, there is a, a way that the handpiece sends information back to this controller box, which is located and hidden inside the dental unit. Whenever this handpiece starts to experience torque decrease or you know lag, stall, that sort of thing, it sends a message back to the controller box and the controller box then puts more air into the air lines which overcomes the lack of rotation, the lack of torque and it keeps this handpiece from stalling and keeps the torque constant. Now we've been using this device since July of 2010 and I've really put it through its paces. We've taken out old fillings with it, we've done lots of preparations with it, we have removed you know, old crown and bridge with it and we've really tried to beat this thing up and what I've discovered is that controller box and the ability to increase the torque and the RPM as needed is a huge bonus. It's very difficult to stall this. It's very difficult to get this device not to work properly. Uh, we've been using it uh, for, like I said, eight months now. I am really, really crazy about this. It is not an electric. Uh, it's not quite the same torque or strength as an electric. We'd call this the poor man's electric handpiece. Probably if you would say an electric on a scale of 1 to 10, electric being a 10, I would give this one a solid 7. Uh, because it doesn't quite have the same torque as an electric, but it's got a lot of torque. And I really enjoy using this. We use it every day. And this is uh, this month's article in Dental Products Report. So check it out for all the details. And thank you very much for, uh, for watching. And Thais, thanks for letting me be part of the DPR Fridays. Back to you. Well, thanks, John. We'll look forward to hearing back from you again soon. And in product news, the American Dental Association recently designed the new ADA Seal of Acceptance web area, www.ada.org backslash ADA Seal Products ASPX to provide information that will help the public in selecting dental products and help dentists when discussing products with patients. The web area will allow consumers and dentists to review detailed information on all ADA accepted products as well as compare attributes of up to six products simultaneously. Visitors to the web area can browse ADA seal products by product name, category, or manufacturer, and visitors to the site can click the links for detailed product information pages that tell why those products earned the ADA seal, what they do, ingredients, and label information. Contact information for the product's manufacturer is also provided. And with that, we're out of time. For more on the latest products and industry news, don't miss DPR Friday next week and every week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.